A crime alert now. The city of Pine Bluff now up to 10 homicides this year after a 21-year-old man is found dead inside the door of a home on South Virginia Street. And so far, police have no suspects in this case. But this particular case, as well as others, leaves one man with a heavy heart. Gary Burton Jr. joins us live from Pine Bluff to tell us how the guy is creating a new outreach program, hopefully that will curb some of this crime. Gary? Yeah, Donna, well, in 2021, the city of Pine Bluff saw 29 homicides, and we're already at 10 for this year. Now, this new youth program in the city is called the Faith Formation Forum, and it focuses on four categories that, if attacked at a young age, could prevent violent acts. Playing some basketball at a Pine Bluff park, Trenton Washington, 11th grader at Pine Bluff High, who didn't know that the city saw its 10th homicide of the year on South Virginia Street, just a short block away from where he shoots hoops. I mean, that's, that's wild. I mean, and they ain't even know that. Pine Bluff PD has identified 21-year-old Trevion Nelson as the victim. He was shot. My heart goes with, with this city. Lifelong Pine Bluff resident Grant Williams is looking to curb the violence with the Faith Formation Forum Outreach Program at his church, Grace Evangelical Baptist. If we don't touch but one person, we saved one person. Every two months, the program will have speakers discussing bullying, conflict resolution, making the right decisions, and peer pressure. What we want to do is catch the youth before they get caught up in the circle. I told Trent about the program, and he agrees with the principles it stands for. I mean... Everybody could benefit from the from the programs. I mean, not just youth, grown people, older people, kids around my age. It's a team effort. Everybody needs to get involved. Got that right. And the Faith Formation Forum will take place next Saturday, April 23rd, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Reporting live in Pine Bluff, I'm Gary Burton, Jr. Back to you.